In the Ladder of Commitment Overview video, I use change as the example to show the process that human beings go through before they will commit to something. And I said that whenever we roll out a change, you know, do people get jazzed? Do they get excited about that, ch that change? Do they go, ooh, a new policy, this is gonna be great. Ooh, they're changing the way that we do things. This is gonna be wonderful. Do they get excited about that? And the answer, as you know, is no. Most people resist change. Why do people resist change? They resist change because they fear change. And they go, well, why do they fear change? And they said, because it makes them uncomfortable. All change makes people uncomfortable. And you need to realize that and help people to realize that, that every change, no matter what it is, even if it's a little change, will make somebody uncomfortable. Little changes make people feel a little bit uncomfortable. Big changes make people feel really uncomfortable. And people will resist being uncomfortable. Nobody gets up in the, in the morning and says, you know, today I want to be as uncomfortable as possible, so I'm going to go out and change things up so that I feel really uncomfortable. Nobody gets up in the middle of the night and says, I think, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning, I think I'm going to go drive in the most dangerous area of town, and I'm going to keep my windows rolled down and my doors unlocked just to see what that's like to make myself feel uncomfortable so I can understand it. People resist being uncomfortable. But the thing that they resist the most about change is that not only does the change make people feel uncomfortable, but it also makes people incompetent. Incompetent. Now, you see, before the old policy, with the old policy, the old procedure, they'd figured it out. They know how to do it. With the old boss, they knew what the old boss wanted. They know what the old bosses hot buttons were. So you get in a new boss and that makes you feel uncomfortable because I'm not so sure yet how to be successful with the new boss. I don't know how to perform this task as competently as I did before. And any time that you change something, you change a procedure or a process or a practice or a system, it makes people uncomfortable and it makes them incompetent. And you know this because if you ever got a new computer or a new uh, software on your computer, then you're uncomfortable for a while as you're trying to figure it out. My wife is totally uncomfortable as she's working with her computer because she feels incompetent and she's afraid to touch any button, hit anything. She calls me in all the time saying, you know, when now what do I do? What do I do? I've showed it to her, but she has never increased her competence with that thing so that she can feel comfortable with that software system or with that hardware system or with her computer itself. And so all change makes people feel incomp incompetent. So let me give you an example of this. You see, what happens in our work is that we tend to routinize our work. We get into a routine so that we can do our job without having to think about it because there's nothing worse than having to think at work. And we want to be able to do it without even thinking about it. And so do you have a form that maybe you have to fill out all of the time, right? And when you fill out that form, do you have to read that form? Do you ever, you look at it and you go, oh, it says name. Oh, that's where name goes. Address. Oh, that's where address goes. Phone number. Oh, that's where phone number goes. Do you actually read the form? If there's a form that you've filled out on a regular basis, do you actually read it? No, you just start filling it out. Why? Because you're competent, you know what's on there, and you're very comfortable with that, and you've just root, routinized it so that you know where everything is. And in fact, I'll bet you can actually grab the form, fill it out, grab the form, fill it out, grab the form and fill it out, and maybe even talk to somebody at the exact same time because you know how to do that task without thinking about it. So what happens if they move the form? They just move it instead of over there, it's now over there. And so you used to grab the form, fill it out, grab the form, fill it out, but now it's, it's like over there. And this arm doesn't work as well, you know, and grabbing it. And that's, so just moving something causes great difficulty because your body has uh, muscle memory and you know how to do it over there, but you don't know how to do it over here. And so that's part of the routinization is even your body learns to do things without thinking about it. Have you ever had somebody change a form, the format of something, but it asks the exact same thing, just in a different format? That just really irritates people, right? They go, it's asking the same thing. It still says name, it still says address. I know, but I like this form better. You know, I like it uh, landscaped instead of, uh, you know, this portrait. And so, you know, I, I changed it. You go, why did you change it? Now I have to look at it. 
Now, what's fascinating is how long do you think it will actually take you to become competent to that new task when it's asking the exact same thing? It doesn't take you very long, but it still irritates you because for that short amount of time, you are incompetent. Now, major changes makes people majorly incompetent. And that's what people are resisting. What they're resisting is being uncomfortable and being incompetent. And so don't get upset with people because these are the natural consequences. And if you realize that they're not resisting the change, they're resisting being uncomfortable and incompetent, then you don't fight against them. You don't argue with them. You don't discipline them because that's the only thing that they are worried about. And so what you need to do is to put in place the things that will make people feel comfortable about this change and reinforcing it that, you know, I understand that this is going to be difficult for us for a while. I understand that for a while you may not be able to do this as well as you performed this task in the past. But I also want you to know that I'm here to support you. I'm here to encourage you and to teach you, and I will provide you with the tools and information and, and resources that you need so that you can be successful. And I'm not going to hang you out there to dry. And so our role is to help managers to realize that people aren't resisting change. They're resisting being uncomfortable and incompetent 